What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own custom YouTube banner for your channel. Now the first thing we're going to do is just set up the documents. You want to go to File, New, and Create a New Document. That is going to be 2560 by 1440, and make sure the background contents are transparent, and then click on OK. Now this is where the actual banner is going to be. But before we actually make anything in the banner, we're going to import an image. So I'm going to link uh, an image in the description down below, and it's to this image over here, which is basically a template showing you which parts of the banners are going to be visible on certain platforms. So for example, this is the mobile area, so anything here is going to be visible on mobile, and then this is for the tablet area. So all you want to do is save this image, and then go back into Photoshop, go to File, Place, and Place that image. So I'm just going to do that. And we have our template set up and then just click the check mark. Now the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and make our borders for the channel art. So we're going to go to the rectangle tool and make sure the fill is black and there is no stroke. And then just create a rectangle which covers the TV area and goes down and it borders the text and logo safe area. And do the same thing on the bottom. There we go. And now our borders are done. And we can actually delete this channel art layer now. And this is where our banner is going to be. Now we're going to create a new layer and actually add a background to the banner. So to start things off, we're going to actually keep things very simple. And later on, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually customize this banner to your liking. But to start off, just go into the rectangle tool and select rectangle and then choose a fill for the color you want your banner to be. And um, I'll make it light blue and then just create the rectangle. Now make sure this layer is underneath the two border layers like so, so that it's within the borders. And there we go. We have the background done. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and add some text. So now we're going to go ahead and create a new layer by clicking the new layer button. Now make sure that whenever you create a layer or any of the layers you're working with, make sure that those layers are underneath the two rectangle layers because these are the borders. And then we're going to go ahead and select the text tool and then just type in our text. So the font I'm using is Call of Ops Duty and I'm going to type out Ziovo and that looks good to me. So now we're going to go ahead and center this text to the entire banner. So what you want to do is press Control A, go to Layer, Align Layers to Selection, Vertical Centers, and then go to Layer, Align Layers to Selection, Horizontal Centers, and then press Control D and everything should be centered. All right, so now that we have the text done, we're going to add some effects to the text. So what you want to do is right click on the text layer and go to Blending Options. And then here we're going to add some effects. So the first effect I usually add is a gradient overlay and we're going to create a black and white gradient overlay and just change the opacity to 15%. And as you can see, the text has this metallic look to it. Now, of course, you can experiment and find gradients that you like and mess around with it and see what you like fits best. And you can also experiment with these other settings and see what you like. But the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and add a drop shadow as well. And in this case, we're going to make the opacity 100, the distance 0, and the spread and size 33. And there we go. I'm going to make it a bit bigger, actually and have the spread at 44, and that looks good. So now what we're going to be doing is adding some more text to the banner. Now this is optional, but there's a bunch of options you have to actually add more text to your banner. So what you can do is you can actually, let me just change the font really quickly and change the size of the font. But there's a bunch of different types of text you can add. You can add a title, for example, you could put the official channel of and put that on top over here. Or what you can do is put your social media link. So I'm going to put my Twitter in for this case and put at Ziovo underscore, which you guys should definitely follow and then press the check mark and then move it to the side over here. And then I'm going to align this, uh, I guess, vertically. So I'm going to press control A, go to layer, align layers to selection, and then vertical centers. And it's going to be aligned horizontally, vertically, my bad. <laughs> So once you have the text done, what you can do is go ahead and add some effects to this text as well. But instead of going into blending options and adding it manually, there's also a way you can add it in automatically. So what you're going to do is right click on the effects button over here for the main title text, which is this. So I'm going to right click it and then click on copy layer style. So we're going to right click and then go to copy layer style. And then we're going to right click on the at Ziovo underscore Twitter layer. And then we're going to go to paste layer style. And it's actually going to add the same effects that the title had. Now, as you can see, the drop shadow is a bit too much. So we're going to right click it, go to blending options and just tone that down a bit. So it matches up and it looks a bit nicer. So I'm going to make the spread maybe 33 and there we go. 
So now we have the base of the banner done, we have all the elements we need, and I guess it looks okay, but now what we can do is actually customize this banner a lot lot more through something called graphics packs. So what you want to do is go ahead and go on YouTube and search for graphics packs, which contain graphics to make your channel art look so much more better. So you can just look through these packs and download the ones you like. In this case, we're going to be using the Rated Designs Graphics Pack, which I'm going to link down below in the description. I think it's amazing. So once you have your graphics packs downloaded, what you want to do is go ahead and just go to File, Open, and open them up. Open up the PSD files. And then in your graphics pack, you're going to see that you have a bunch of different things, elements, backgrounds, textures that you can add to your banner and make it look custom to what you like. And I think it's really cool because this is the fun part. You can just look at effects you like and then just slap them onto your banner and it's going to make it look really, really cool. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So for example, I'm going to go into this file over here and I like this beehive hexagonal background. So I'm going to go ahead, make sure the layer is selected, control click on the picture, press control C, go back into the main layer and press control V to paste it. And there we go. Now you can of course move the layers around. So I'm going to put this underneath the text and then press control T, hold shift and resize it to go over the entire banner. And I think that looks really cool. Now this is the best part about making a banner. You can customize it to any sort of design you'd like by using all of these packs and effects and it'll look really cool in the end. Now, you're always free to make changes to your banner as well. So for example, right now, I don't really like the blue color, so I can go ahead and make it dark red maybe. I think that would look really nice. And yeah, that looks way better. Banner looks a lot better now and it has some actual effects in it. We're going to go ahead and add some even more effects to make it look even nicer. So I'm going to go ahead and add this grunge overlay six over here. So I'm going to go ahead, select it, control click the picture, control C, go back into the main layer and press control V and have it pasted. And then I'm just going to resize it by pressing Control T, holding Shift, and resizing it like so. But honestly, guys, the one thing I want you to take away from this video is that you don't have to have a certain type of banner. Like, I'm not going to show you how to make a set banner. I want you guys to be as creative as possible and represent your channels. So you guys can obviously go ahead and get multiple graphics packs and see what you like and add as many effects as you want, which is a really cool part. You know, I'm not limiting you guys, so have fun with it. And the final thing we're going to be doing is adding a social media icon, so our Twitter logo, onto the banner. So I'm going to go ahead, go on Google Images, and search for a Twitter logo PNG. And I like this one over here. And since it has a checkered background, it is a transparent file. I'm going to go to View Image, right-click, Save Image As, and save it as Twitter. Go back into Photoshop, go to File, Place, and then go into Downloads, because that's where it was saved and put in this Twitter image. And holding shift, I am going to resize it. Try that again, there we go. And move it beside the Ziovo text. Now to align this Twitter logo to the center of the entire banner, vertically we're gonna press Control A, go to Layer, Align Layers to Selection, and Vertical Centers. And now what we're just going to do is go ahead and add some effects to the actual logo so it matches the text. We're going to right click on the Twitter logo, go to blending options, and we are going to add a gradient overlay. And in this case, if we make it 10%, it's still going to be blue. So we're going to actually go ahead and leave the opacity at 100% and then just change the gradient colors. So we're going to go ahead and click on the slider, double click on the black and make it more of a grayish color so that in the end it has a metallic look like so, and it matches the Ziovo. And we're also going to add a drop shadow like so, and make the opacity 100%, and once again, just see what looks best. So in this case, I think having the spread and size as 33 matches the text as well, and everything looks like it's matching. And we're going to zoom out, press Control D, and there's our banner. So the final thing we have to do is just save this banner now, and go to File, Save Image As, and then save it as a PNG file. So I'm going to save it as banner and then we're done. So that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Now, I understand that this banner doesn't look the best, but I just wanted to show you guys the gist of how to make a banner. And with this tutorial, you guys can actually make multiple banners because you have so many options. So hopefully you guys understand that and enjoy this video. Now, if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.